Good morning, kids, and welcome back to I Love Learning with Miss Leah. You know what? I woke up this morning thinking to myself, you know, I'm hungry. What would be something quick and easy to make that I could eat in the morning time? Hmm. So I said, pancakes. I can make pancakes for breakfast. And so as I'm thinking, right, Aiden? Yeah, say pancakes. So we're going to eat. I'm going to make pancakes. And then when I was thinking of pancakes, I said, I have a book. I have a book that I can read to the kids about pancakes. And then I can show you how they're made. That's a good idea. I'm so glad you agree with me. Come on. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to read the book outside. It's a nice sunny day. It's a nice sunny spring day. Why not just sit outside and I'll read you the book outside? Okay. Come on, kids. Let's go. Okay, friends. So we're outside. Aiden and I say hi, Aiden. Say hi. Okay, so I'm outside and I'm going to read the book, Pancakes, Pancakes. Here's the book, kids. Pancakes, Pancakes, written by Eric Carl. The title page, Pancakes, Pancakes. crowded the rooster. Jack woke up, looked out the window, and thought, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. There's Jack. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother, said Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I am busy and you will have to help me, she said. How can I help? asked Jack. We'll need some flour, she replied. Take a sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry. Then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. There he is, cutting the wheat. He put on the donkey's back. There's the miller. Can you grind this wheat for me, he asked. I need it for a big pancake. First, we must separate the grain from the shaft, said the miller. He gave Jack a flail and spread the wheat onto the ground. The miller took another fixel and began to beat the wheat with it. Jack helped with the threshing, and soon there was a big pile of straw and chaff and a small pile of grain. The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was a round millstone connected to the water mill on the outside. the water mill and the water goes around the wheat wheel turned round and round turning the millstone round and round too to oh. grind the grain into flour at last the miller handed Jack a bag of flour is he doggy? Mm -hmm. here's the flour shouted Jack let's make a pancake but his mother said now we need an egg. Jack went to the black hen and fed her some grain that had slipped into his pocket while he had been threshing. Cluck, cluck, said the black hen and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, cluck once more and laid an egg. Where's the egg, Aiden? Where's the egg? Garbage truck. That's not a garbage truck. 
That was what going to the cupboard to trash. Here's an egg, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother <laughs> said, now we need some milk. Jack went to the spouted cow and began to milk her. Moo, moo, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. There goes Jack. He's milking the cow in the udder. Here's the milk, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need some butter. Jack got the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. Jack pushed the churn handle up and down, up and down, and finally the cream turned into butter. Here's the butter, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need to build a fire. Jack went to the woodshed and brought some firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like to have something sweet on your pancake? So Jack went down to the cool cellar and pulled a jar of strawberry jam from one of the shelves. Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg. There's the flour. There's the egg. What else? The milk. There's the milk. The butter. Where's the butter? There was also a mixing bowl, a cup, a wooden spoon, a ladle, a frying pan, a plate, a knife, fork, and spoon, and a jar of strawberry jam. Oh, this is the butter. Mmm, looks good. Let's see, let's see. And his mother said, put a cup full of flour into the bowl, break an egg into the flour, and stir. Pour a cup full of milk over the flour and eggs and stir again until the batter is smooth and without lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast. Then she said to Jack, now pour a ladle, a ladle full of, but, of batter into the hot pan. After a minute or so, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Now watch, she said. I'll turn the pancake over. Ready? Ready, shouted Jack. Flip, said his mother. Up and over went the pancake, high into the air, and landed right in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside no, as well. Then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate and spread some strawberry jam on it. And now Jack, his mother started to say, but Jack said, Oh, Mama, I know what to do now. What's Jack doing? Yeah, he's eating the end. So, and at the end of the book, there is a he's recipe of how you can make your own tasty pancakes. I hope you liked your book. I hope you like it. It was really cool. Pancakes. Pancakes. Tomorrow, we're going to revisit this book, Pancakes, Pancakes, because there's a lot that we can do with this book. So what we're going to do now is go into Miss Leah's kitchen and start making some pancakes. Yes, because I am so hungry. You hungry for some pancakes? Say, no. Say pancakes. Pancakes. He said pancakes. <laughs> Come on, kids, let's go.